All right, hello, and welcome to 2007 on Excel um, with the scatter plots. Um, I had to play around with this for a little bit first to figure out how to do it because uh, I didn't know how. But um, it's similar. It's actually, I think, maybe even easier in 2007 once you know how to do it. So um, you can see Excel here. Um, we're going to highlight um, these two uh, columns just like we would um, in, in 2013. So we want to hi uh, highlight the stuff that we want to create um, the scatter plot. So we'll go up to insert um, and if you notice in 2007, which you've already noticed because you have this, the graphs are a little bit easier to see. So we do want a scatter plot and we're just going to go ahead and go to the first one because this is um, with the markers. So we have ourselves um, a scatter plot. So we've got stuff. Um, notice we don't have any axis titles or anything like that. Um, but we're, we want to make a trend line. So this is the easiest way I found. If you go up here to where it says chart layouts, um, if you click on this bottom arrow, it brings all, these are all different layouts that you can use. And you can see that this one has a line in it. And that will give you a trend line and then you can doctor it from there. Or if you go down to this one, see how it's got kind of an FX above it? FX means function. If you use, if you type on that, notice it gives you the trend line and it automatically puts your equation and your R squared value on there. So you don't have to go and hit a different button to do that. Um, it also gives you your axis titles um, so that you can, it prompts you to go ahead and type those in. Um, so that uh, is very, very nice. Now I do want to show you the other way as well. And I'm going to do a couple examples with this. Um, but if you use the top one where it just gives you the trend line, um, so you see the trend line, um, you have to right click and if you, so notice how, again, I, I put my, my mouse about right there and I right click, go down to format trend line and then you can see at the bottom here, um, let me get it into the screen, it says display equation on the chart and display R squared value on the chart. So that is where it's similar to 2013 um, and you know, you can hit close and then it'll, it'll appear. Um, but you can use either way. So. Uh, so once again, you can use under um, under chart layouts, the one that has the line and says FX. If you click on that, that will give it to you. So um, I didn't try it, but I'm pretty sure if we have some other data, what just happened? Oh, goodness. My number lock was not on. <sighs> okay. Um, So if we get some uh, data here. So I'm going to hit Control and highlight A and C um, to see if I can create my scatter plot that way. Oh, I had the wrong thing clicked. I think I did that in class the other day, too. Um, oh, goodness, what's wrong with this? Maybe it doesn't work. I'm gonna, I highlighted that, then I held down the Control key, and then I highlighted that one. There we go. Okay, so it must not work since I highlighted the entire column. So you just want to highlight the numbers itself um, and hold down your control key and that allows you to highlight ones that are not um, directly next to each other. Um, so again, I, I go up to chart layout. It's a straight line with FX. Goes right through, gives me the equation and the R squared value. Um, and that, uh, that's how you do trend lines and scatter plots uh, in Excel 2007. If you have more questions, let me know. I can play around with it and get you some more examples if you need to. All right. Thanks, everybody.